Today we're going to do one of my favorite asanas, the headstand. When you stand on your feet, your heart has to work in the opposite direction of gravity to pump the blood to your brain. So when you do any inversion position, it relaxes your heart and the blood automatically goes to your brain. There are a couple of disclaimers before we do the headstand. If you are a beginner and you've never done the headstand, it's better to do it with a teacher who will show you the right position and who will show you whether you're doing it the right way or not. Those of you who have high blood pressure problems or if you have any cervical issues at the back of your neck or any spinal issues, it's recommended to not do the headstand. Now the headstand is more about letting go of your mental fears, not being scared of falling down. It's okay to fall, nothing will happen to you as long as you just let go and fall. If you try to break your fall, you might hurt your back or your neck. So you're going to sit. So you get your hands on the floor, extend from your elbows and interlock your fingers. There's equal weight on your elbows on your head. So one third, one third and one third. So don't take all the weight on your elbows and don't take all the weight on your head or the top of your head starts to hurt a little bit. You get your head on your mat with your hands cupping your head. So your head will not be on your hands or your fingers will hurt. You're just cupping your head at the back. You raise your knees up. Put the weight firmly on your elbows and start walking towards your head. There will be a point when you can't walk any longer and your knees will come up. So when you're first practicing the headstand, just try to raise your knees up and come back down. Once again, try to come up and come back down. If you try to raise your leg all the way up, you might not be able to come up into the headstand. Raise your knees off the floor and start walking towards your head. First come into this position. You will really need to use core strength and then slowly straighten your legs up and hold. So you can hold the headstand for as long as you can. Those of you who want to get into variations, you can try opening your legs out, making a V with your legs, slowly get your feet together making a diamond shape with your legs then slowly straightening out and getting one leg forward and one leg back you'll need to arch your spine for this position come back up and switch you can slowly take your leg down get your knees down and relax in child's pose slowly as you inhale you can sit up So the headstand is not so much about the weight or the shape of your body, it's more about your mind letting go of any barriers in your thought process that don't allow you to get into the headstand. It's also a lot about core strength and being able to hold your weight while you come up into the headstand. Practice the headstand every day for you to get better balance, to improve your core strength and also to improve your positions when you try the variations.